I got my first camera, Nikon D50. It was great. It came with a built-in infrared receiver, and you could buy a little remote for about 20 bucks. And every time you clicked it, you would set off the camera. Awesome. Wireless camera shutter release for 20 bucks. But then I upgraded to the Nikon D300, and all of a sudden I couldn't use my little clicker anymore. No, I had to upgrade to one of these, a remote shutter release cable, which is really annoying because now you've got this wired attachment to your camera. But then, about a year ago, I bought a set of Pocket Wizard transceivers, and I found out that you could buy a cable to attach your Pocket Wizard to your camera. But the cables were like 110 bucks. So then I started thinking, what if I could build my own remote shutter release cable for my Pocket Wizards? So I rounded up spare remote shutter cable and some audio cable and got to work. Now the first thing I did was cut and strip both sets of cables and what I ended up with was a red, black, and white cable from the shutter release cord and a red and white cable with some grounding cable from the audio cord. Now it took a bit of experimentation to figure out what to do but I figured out that with the remote shutter cord I needed to wrap the white and black wires together leave the red wire free and with the audio cable, I needed to wrap the, the white cable with the sheathing wire and just cut off the sheathing cable from the red side. Then I attached the red side to the red side and the white and black side to the white side, taped it all up, and got something like this, all taped up in the middle. And on one end, I've got my 10-pin release for my Nikon, and on my other end, I've got my 8-inch audio cable. And when I plug the whole mess into the pocket wizard in the camera, here's what I get. Pretty cool, eh? And now I can take all kinds of fun shots. Like this. Like this. And like this. So now it's time to get shooting.